John Cena talked about the long-running rivalry between fellow WWE wrestler Dwayne The Rock Johnson and his co-star Vin Diesel in the film Fast and Furious. The actor, 46, commented on the conflict among his co-stars when appearing on a recent episode of the Armchair Expert podcast. Host Dax Shepard described Johnson and Diesel's working together on set as a rough pairing, and Cena found herself inclined to agree with the host regarding the claims. The rumors date back over 10 years, to when they initially collaborated on the fifth franchise picture in 2016. There are speculations regarding it, Cena acknowledged. There's no denying that. He revealed that Johnson and Diesel are both alpha sorts and said that this isn't necessarily why they get along well. You have two extremely motivated, alpha individuals, he stated in the podcast. There can only be one, you get two. He attributed his ability to persevere in the face of the franchise's abundance of alphas to his time spent in the WWE, where he discovered the value of staying humble and being a good team player. You have to keep in mind that I was dropped into a locker room with generational veterans, he said, referring to the wrestlers who were all descended from wrestler families. He acknowledged having been in such a setting and continued, saying he had learnt to know the room and just kind of adapt to what's going on. He went on, I'm being invited into someone's house, into someone's family. And it's an action movie, that's rarefied air, and it's one IP that has nine installments, regardless of how they look physically in comparison to another human being, he continued. That needs to be respected, at the very least. The two alphas in Fast and Furious ended their long-running rivalry last year when Johnson unexpectedly reappeared in a Fast X mid-credits sequence as Luke Hobbs. He had earlier stated in the open that there was no chance that he would rejoin the team. Johnson was invited to join Fast X by Diesel back in late 2021, but he turned it down. Diesel asked Johnson, whom he claimed his kids called Uncle Dwayne, to play secret agent Hobbs again for the climax on Instagram in November of that year. In an interview with CNN the following month, Johnson declared that he would not be returning to the franchise and openly rejected his request to return for the tenth film. Claiming they had already come to a private arrangement, he described Diesel's social media post as an illustration of his deception. But when he said that he and Diesel had finally called it quits, it looked like a bluff. Following the theatrical release of Fast X, Johnson tweeted, Last summer, Vin and I put all the past behind us. We'll always take care of the franchise, characters, and fans that we love, and lead with brotherhood and resolve. The world awaits the finale of Fast 10, Diesel stated in his invitation on Instagram. As you are aware, in our home, my kids call you Uncle Dwayne. Every holiday passes without them and you exchange warm wishes, but the day has come. A legacy is in store. Years ago, I promised you that I would keep my word to Pablo. I promised that in the tenth and final episode, we will quickly achieve and actualize the best. Johnson seemed to treat his co-star's social media message with contempt during an interview. I was very clear with, Diesel, about my decision to leave the franchise. He said, I was firm but kind in my remarks, saying that I would always be there for the cast and to cheer for the success of the franchise, but there was no chance I would return. Vin's manipulation was demonstrated in his most recent public post. It bothered me that he mentioned Paul Walker's passing and his kids in the post. Don't include them in it. We had a clear understanding after speaking about it months earlier. He expressed his best wishes for the franchise's cast and crew two years prior to the start of Fast X production. I always wanted to wrap up my incredible journey with this incredible franchise with grace and gratitude, Johnson said. It is regrettable that the public discourse has clouded the issues. That being said, I have faith in the Fast universe to continuously provide the audience with what they want. I sincerely hope that my former co-stars and crew colleagues have continued success and happiness in their upcoming endeavors. Previously, Cena joined the franchise for the 2021 release of F9, The Fast Saga, when he played the estranged brother of Diesel's Dominic Toretto on screen, Jacob. 
Johnson talked about his long-running battle with Diesel in his Vanity Fair cover interview in October of that year. He claimed at the time that he and his co-star simply approached the business of movie-making in two very different ways, and that they are just, philosophically two different people. 